UMMC admits it is trying to conserve those vital supplies like hand sanitizers and masks, the very sort of thing that has been dwindling here. The hospital believes employees have been walking out with it, so now they're searching employees before they leave work. Employees at UMMC say they are being searched at the door by hospital security as they leave work. So it is something that's not new, but we are ramping it up right now. We're, uh, our campus police is, is randomly spot checking uh, uh, bags. And this is, a, this is an effort to conserve our supply of per personal protective protection equipment. Mark Rolfe with UMMC says hand sanitizers, wipes, and masks like these have been stolen from the hospital since the COVID-19 scare ramped up. Those supplies are now in growing demand worldwide, and the hospital admits these random searches are just a way to try and conserve what it does have. We had what, what our, our, the managers of those areas said, that the number went down a lot quicker than it should have. At a, at a certain period, so it was understood that there was some uh, uh, PPE theft. It is the latest step for hospitals dealing with coronavirus concerns, even as there are no confirmed cases of the virus in Mississippi. What's going to be better than making sure people can be taken care of their home, either if they're unable to get out or if they're ill? Or Wednesday, they're State Health Officer Dr. Thomas Dobbs spoke before the House Homeland Security Subcommittee on Emergency Preparedness in Washington, D.C. Dobbs suggested an increase in telehealth services to prevent exposure to other patients at the doctor's office. That is the process where a patient speaks to a doctor or nurse via a computer link. UMMC says it is working on that expansion now. It could be very useful. We're looking into that. We're working on that actively. Um, it's not, not at a point where it's ready to roll out, um, but we're definitely working on that. UMMC says it's not denying access for employees or patients to sanitizers and masks, rather just trying to do a better job of monitoring the supplies they do have. They also say now that they're going to be using those masks that may have had an expiration date, past those dates, to try to better use all of their materials here at the hospital. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT 